Hello everyone, I'm Bartolo for Gallery Teachers and we are producing a series of videos about TEFL, that is teaching English as a foreign language. Today we are talking about the right of happiness when uh, we teach English. Our very special guest for today is uh, Roberta Begliomini, the owner of uh, Yellow. She um, is not really a teacher, an English teacher. She is uh, a language consultant. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> I'm uh, very interested uh, about your profession. Um, you are a pro member of uh, our website and uh, we met during uh, one of our workshops and uh, mm -hmm. you said something interesting about your approach um, on uh, the language and I started digging on uh, your website that is mm -hmm. yellow. Not exactly written as uh, the color yellow, is I-E-L-O. Can you explain me what's the difference between an English teacher and uh, a language confident consultant? Well, an English teacher actually, um, well, you go to the school, you know, I remember when I was a child or um, an adolescent, I used to go to school and I had a great teacher, a great English teacher, but she was basically teaching the grammar, the reading, right? And I lack a little bit of the communication part. So I remember that I have studied English for five years. And at the end of my course, I wasn't speaking any English, right? So I was like, oh my God, I can't order a copy, okay? Because I was afraid of, you know, speaking. I didn't know how to do it, okay? So then when I came up with the idea of creating my startup, okay, Yellow, as you said, I said, wow, you know, I think most part of people, they're not afraid of English. They're afraid of speaking English. So we have to help them to get confident, especially with adults, especially with adults, because after a while, you know, they just ask themselves, how come I am 25, I'm 40 years old and I can't speak any English, right? And that's the point, you know, the difference between an English teacher and a language confidence consultant is that, yes, we teach English, but you work on the confidence more than anything. Can you explain exactly how you build up the confidence with uh, your students? I understand that you work with juniors and uh, adults as well. So I guess you yeah. have a very different approach. We have to play along. That's the secret. And you also, we also have to enjoy. Uh, kids, you know, they, they want to learn, but they want to play as well. And that's why happiness, you know, fun is so important. Okay. So I usually start a class like with my kids doing something like a game playing a game so for example i have these flashcards they are the um um like we have some quotes let's say like these no so what makes you happy today okay so yes smile and jump okay so they see the card say ah smile and jump so i have to jump and smile yes right and then they feel like just relaxed and then we start the class. Okay, so I think that the secret about kids is about playing, all about playing along. Okay, and obviously we have to explain grammar, we have to do writing and all the stuff you have to do, but you have to include some um, games, you know, this is very important. I think when you talk about um, adolescents, well, adolescents is a bit different because they want to, you know, they are not kids anymore, you know, they are, you know, I'm an adult, you know, almost an adult. So I think the secret is to get involved. Like you are not only a teacher, but kind of a friend, you know? So I try to come up, um, to start a class or when I have, for example, this week, we uh, played a game, who am I? So basically you have like post-its, okay? You put the post-its here, you write the name of someone. And they were like, we are going to play this game. I'm not a kid anymore. Come on, it's going to be fun. Leave me. Bartolo, they loved it. We spent like 20, 25 minutes playing the game. And it was nice because, ah, who am I? Am I blonde? Am I an actress? So we worked a lot of vocab, okay? And they were having fun. And um, I think that's the secret with these two groups. And finally, we have the adults which is a different case because we have to work a lot about on, I'm sorry, um, their confidence, really. What I mean is that we have to treat them as equals, okay? So 
they have to talk. Uh, sometimes they just want to talk, okay? They left work, I say, I'm tired, you know, I have to, I just want to talk today, Robbie. And I say, okay, we just talk. Or let's talk, but let's have some grammar, what do you think? So I think that when you construct the class together, and then you build um, this relationship, okay, of trust, and they feel comfortable, and then they are not afraid of making mistakes anymore. I'm curious about the challenges that you have with uh, the adults. For example, for in my experience, um, adults think that in a couple of uh, lessons, they will speak English. So usually when they, we arrive at the third lesson, they ask me, uh, Bartolo, when do you think I will speak English? And this is a very broad topic because I started um, learning English at the age of eight, 10 maybe, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm still learning. So. Uh, What's the right answer? Our method is based in project management, TLO. Okay, what does it mean? It means that when you uh, have an adult, we tell him, what's your goal? Why do you want to learn English, right? So some, some come here and just say, look, I'm, I'm, I, I have an interview, a job interview, and I have to get ready for it. I'm here because I want to relax or because I have to travel. I want a promotion. In, they have several, several objectives, okay? Sometimes they don't know their goals, okay? But once they know it, what I tell them is, we are gonna do everything to achieve your goal. So we establish a plan with macro activities and then micro activities. And then we show this plan to them and say, look, this is our job. In this sense, you create accountability. When you create accountability, they feel responsible, right? So they say, wow, I think now I have, to, I have to study and work. Yes, you do. But the good news is that at the end, probably you are going to reach your goal. And if you don't reach it, we are going to have feedback session. Maybe you have to slow down or maybe you have to adopt a book. So the, the, I think that the secret is like to make them understand that you don't have to speak English like Queen Elizabeth, but you have to speak English for what you really need. I will use your advice. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I like your approach of uh, positivity and uh, happiness. I think it's very important. No, and uh, if I can add just one more thing, because I think this is important for the part of happiness, no? Uh, mistakes, no, because we are always, uh, even, I think it, there is no age, I mean, we're, we, you're afraid of making mistakes when you're kids, when you're adults, but what I tell my students is like, love your mistakes, and these I learned from a very nice teacher, um, so I say, give mistake, give names to your mistakes, so like the famous S in the third person, <laughs> okay, so I have a busy student that said, oh my god, I hate this S, no, don't hate him. Just love him, you know, or her. I don't know. And she then she changes like, the perspective of it, you know. She still sometimes makes some mistakes, but now she's okay. Okay, I made this mistake, but people understand me. So yeah. We are heading to the end of uh, our interview. Um, what about doing some promotion on? Uh, your yeah, good. <laughs> if, if people want to study with you or work with you, how do they find you and? Uh, Please, we are all here. Okay, ready. great. Thank you. So, people, we are based in Italy, Florence, but we teach uh, English and also other languages, Portuguese, German, and Italian uh, here in Italy, but also online. Okay, so now we are investing a lot in our online sessions. Uh, we have new teachers, okay, and the good news is that they are mother tongue teachers, they are non native English teachers. English, yes, because these are English teachers, but they are specialized in something, meaning that if you want to learn IELTS, I mean, study for IELTS or FC, I have a teacher that has focused on these certificates, or if you need to improve your conversation skills, then maybe you need a mother tongue, okay, to get challenged. So, yes, you can find us on our website, so it's www.yellow-languages.com. We are on social media too, Facebook and Instagram, Yellow Languages. And it's nice because on Facebook we post a lot of videos. And then, uh, yes, 
if you are you don't have much money to spend now you have it for free and the teachers are super super fun and if i can leave a message here is don't don't be afraid of learning a new course don't be afraid of starting okay because in the end we never stop learning and that's the most beautiful thing i agree with you thank you roberta uh, for being with us and that's all for thank today you. if you want to write an article for our blog or you want to get interviewed on uh, this channel if you have something important to say please write to us at editorial at gallerieteachers.com I am Bartolo Ansaldi, and today with us we had Roberta Belliomini from uh, Yellow. So thank you for being with us. If you like this uh, video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and help us grow as a community. And uh, until next time, as usual, happy teaching and happy learning. Bye-bye. Thank you.